Greetings and welcome back to Hydraneer. Alright, there was some more interest in this game, so I figured we'll do another episode or two and see whether or not we can get something going. Because I would really like to get something going with this game. Okay, I have been busy. I've been working on making money by making swords and, uh, of course, necklaces. I think I can make another necklace, so let's just do that. Alright, let's put that over here. Uh, by the way, I do have some extra gold chunks here. I have a bunch of um, gems, and of course, I have a bunch of shards. I have uh, four of those cloudiums. What are they, cloudiums? Hold on a second. What is this again? Cloutium. Not cloudium. Cloutium. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make another necklace. And then we're going to see how much money I actually made. And hopefully, it's enough. All right, so let's just select this, and we're going to go full necklace. I don't know what the market is doing. If the market doesn't like it, I'll just sell it at the jeweler. All right, what are we going to do here? I got a lot of sapphires, so I think that we'll do a sapphire. All right, so let's put the sapphire, aiming it right there. All right, and those two look hot enough, so let's see what we can do here. All right, hold on, hold that right there. And another one right on top of that. Okay, where's the hammer? All right. Hammer time! Okay, so we got a nice necklace there. So let's grab that and sell it. And then, of course, we're going to find out the total amount of money I now have. Because we're going to move. Because that little, um, that little patch of land just is not going to do the job. All right, let's check the market first. All right, what do we got? Necklaces are not doing too well. No, they're not. So let's see here. 1845. All right, and this is 1873. All right, so we're going to go with 1873 because it's more. All right, so let's take this and let's merge it with the rest of my money. I'm keeping it over here, but I am going to be carrying it because I'm not buying anything more here. The time has come to move on. All right, so let's see here. There we go. And we have 15,612, and I'm taking that with me. We'll just leave it there for the moment. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I can make some more money here. It's just becoming increasingly difficult. You see, you make the money on the bottom layer, but this, this is all not shovelable see back here this is shovelable this is not this is not uh there is some over here and there's some back here so the thing is you're going to end up going up and that kind of defeats the entire purpose so it's kind of time to move on all right i'm going to take this with me as a place to hold my money all right i'm going to put that down here which reminds me yes it does remind me because i think i just saw it uh, I have been told where to put this. Apparently, there is a cave behind the truck. And that looks like the cave. Does it say anything here? Okay. Oh, that's the fishing thing. Oh, we'll take a quick look at that. Okay, so... Do I just put it on one of the pedestals? Or do I, like, activate it? No? Okay, then I just drop it. Okay, I was hoping for something a little bit more ceremonious than that, like, you have leveled, or something like that. Okay, so there is a... I think it's over here. All right, so there's a place over here, and there's another market here, and you can see there's an addition, and that is fish, because fish is a thing in this town. Now, there are fishing rods up there, and you can make money off it. Of course, uh, apparently selling it here is a better idea. But there's also something else here. I think it's over. Oh, there we go. All right. Like I said, you can buy fishing poles over there. But this is a quest pole. Apparently, they m become more and more lucky over time. So if in fishing you find this fairly rare fish, you drop it in there. You get the pole. And then there's a new pole with a new fish. So when we get into fishing, which I hope we do... We can start working on that. At the moment, we want to focus like a laser beam on making maximum amount of money. I don't think there's anything over here. Maybe this is going to be some kind of like expansion. 
Could be. Could be. There is a big update for this game in the works. It has been for a while. A 2.0. New engine, all kinds of new stuff. All right, so this is my vehicle. All right, you see on the top there, there's a little thing with water. That's actually the fuel because water is the fuel for everything in this game, right? So I'm just going to bring this to a complete stop right there because I need to load it up. Uh, one thing I need to put in there is the money. Where's the money? Let's grab the money. Uh, the pan too, uh, in case I have to reload the water. Apparently that's a thing. All right, another thing I'm bringing with me. Yes, I am going to bring... Whoa, I didn't actually want to do that. But you know what? It's morning, so I suppose that's a good thing. All right, we're going to put this over here now. All right, and down. All right, let's see. Now, I kind of, for now, want to leave most things intact here. I am, however, going to bring that in case I need the power shards. I'm thinking in case I need money, emergency money, I could go down there and make some, um, you know, a necklace or a, uh, what's the name of it, a uh, sword or something like that. All right, and drop. All right, because the power shards are something I'm going to need. All right, I think there was something else that I wanted to bring that I don't remember. Oh, yeah, right. There we go. Big one, the map. Okay, so looking at the map, of course, we're at uh, Emerald Cradle, which is in the upper left there. Uh, we were just in Burnscroft. That's the place with the fish stuff going on, I believe. Okay, so here's the thing. There's three new places that we can dig in, but we have to buy them, right? So I figure, why don't we take a look at them and then, of course, decide. But, you know, I've already decided. There is a big price difference, but I think I've already accounted for that in the amount of money that I've saved up. And then, of course, you have Bridgepore there, which is the city we're going to be buying stuff from. It's got a lot more than this one here. I mean, you can actually buy housing parts and put them together and new vehicles as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the three sites, and um, then we're going to go to the site that we're actually going to get, right? All right, so I actually do want to bring this with me. Um, I know you can actually buy them. You, know, you can buy extra maps. But, I mean, the thing is that I don't need the map here. One way or another, I don't need the map here. So we're going to get in, and we're going to drive. Okay, so this thing is notoriously um, twitchy. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm a novice driver. Oh, there's a bridge. Okay, so we're going to drive over the bridge. All right, we're going to drive over the bridge. All righty. All right, so let's go. All right, I did a little bit of walking, and apparently what that is, that's another market. I don't know why it's up here. I'm guessing there's a reason for it, but at the moment, that's not where we're going. All right, so I think that there's a left coming up, which is the, um, okay, it just keeps wobbling like that. It's scaring me. And there's a, uh, like I said, there's a left coming up, and this leads to the first field. This is, I believe, the least expensive of them, and there may very well be a reason for that. All right, so why don't we just screech to a halt and jump out? All right, so this is... Mildew's Aquafire. Okay, and this one is 970. And it's kind of a mess. Yeek. Kind of a mess. All right. Um, we'll go around the outside. Yeah, I'm looking for something, by the way, and I'm not seeing it so far. I mean, it's big enough, but, um, it, where's the water? Seriously, where's the water? Was it in the middle? Okay, I don't see any water. Just, you know, in Hydranir, where everything runs on water, you'd think you'd want to see some water. Well, I don't see any water. Besides, it's, um, uh, kind of messy. Now, you can end up having all of them if you want to have extra mines, but I don't want to start here. All right, so let's go. Backing up. 
and turning around and backing up keeping an eye on the water level after all that is my fuel right okay i think the next one is a left and then straight so we'll take a left and then we'll go straight all right Okay, and... Okay, it looks like we're here. I'm gonna stop here. And I'm out. Alright, it puts me over here. Okay, Drek Quarry. This one is 1,500 coins for sale. Okay, it's very deep. But then again, it is a quarry, right? And I believe that I think I see what... I didn't see in the previous place, which is, yes, there is water. Not a lot of water, but I'm guessing it basically doesn't run out, right? I mean, this water seems to have a wave going its way. Okay, well, I mean, at least there is water. So clearly you'd have to start over here. Uh, it is a little on the rocky side, but like I said, it's a quarry. So, I mean, definitely some stuff you can do with this one. I think the only difference in them is like the land, the size. In other words, I don't think there's better stuff in one place than another one. It's just that where do you want to set up shop and how much do you want your shop to be, right? All right, so that one was 1,200. All right. So now let's go to the one that I'm actually planning on grabbing. And, you know, I'm actually going to grab it. All right, so, okay, and screech to a halt because I do believe it's this way. It's pretty easy to see why it is you would want this one coming up. But then again, it is pretty expensive, though. All right, so we are here. And we're going to stop. Okay, and we're out. I mean, you just look around. You can pretty much figure it out. But there is, of course, a price. So this one, obviously, is South Hope. And it's very expensive. But as you can see, it's giant. It's pretty flat. And in terms of water, water is absolutely not a problem. Ooh, what is this? Oh, and it's got a fishing dock too. It is a long way off from the uh, the place where the fish was, though. But maybe you can get, like, one of the later rare ones there. I have no idea. It's no surprise that I'm going to buy this one, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this one. Uh, it's the best one. Like I said, you can always go back and buy the other ones. But you know what? Uh, there's a reason why I grinded out so much money, right? All right. So, oh, and I might as well just take this with me and plop it down because, uh, yeah, if I do want to actually get a, um, yeah, I'll just put it here because I'm going to probably be spending a lot of my time in this area. And if I want to get another one, I can go back where we were if I'm in there making money. So I want to leave that in place in case I decide that I need more money. I can go back there and grind it out a little bit. Eventually, I'll be taking some of that stuff this way. But I do have a bunch of money, and I'm going to spend some of it right now. Actually, I should have taken that too, but I can only carry one thing at a time, can I? Okay, so in you go, and I'm a homeowner now. Oh, I should have a landowner. All right, so 9,000 left. All right, let me just uh, put that down, and then we're going to put this over here too. The power shards are going to be uh, useful, very useful. All right, so what I'm planning on is I want to have a setup here that's going to get water out of here into here and very basically just power something. The thing is, it's going to be a lot of piping, a lot of piping. And uh, I think the most, I think the gathering and the unloading and stuff like that, and maybe even some of the early stuff, is probably not something you need to see. Um, I'll try to leave the incredibly boring stuff out, but I know that when I've watched some uh, when I've watched some videos from people doing stuff in this game, they're just like, "Okay, here's my full system," and I'm like, "Okay, what did you do? I I, I didn't I didn't see that. I, I I can't tell what you actually did." You know, a lot of them just don't go through the process, and I'm thinking, you know, learning this way is probably a good idea. You know. 
because we're getting to the point now where it's time to start using your creativity, you know? You learn the basics, and then from that point on, you know, you just apply your own, um, like I said, creativity. All right, so this is the, the big town here. This is Bridgepore. Poor, as in water. All right, so you can actually get other vehicles over here. Some of them seem to be just different colors than this one. I don't know if they're any better. Okay, scrapyard. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Right there. Okay, break. Yeah, the reverse doesn't uh, doesn't do that very well. Okay, uh, let's just look around a little bit here. Okay, so there's power stuff over here. Power and logic. I think that was recently that that got added in, so it's not something we're going to be looking at yet. Um, scrapyard. I don't see anything here. Maybe that's going to be something that's added. Like I said, these were the vehicles. Um, a lot of them just look like different colors of the one that we have. Except, of course, this one is uh, very expensive. It could be that it runs better. I mean, we have this one over here, which probably is just a different color. Maybe if something happens to the other one. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this one. But it's less expensive than these. So I'm guessing maybe these just run better? I have no idea. Because it looks like a different color of this one. I guess this one might be a little bit smaller. I have no idea. All right, what do we have here? Oh, the little carts. Itchy carts? Wait a minute. Yeah, and we have one of these back at the base, but I mean, I just don't use it, you know? I mean, I could run it back, but I don't really see a reason for that. Okay, here we have some automation type items to purchase. Uh, we will be getting them, like the sorter and conveyor belts, but we won't be doing that today. Okay, I think that this is like furniture. Okay, that chair is worth 14500 I won't be buying that today. Okay, conveyor nation. I think that there's housing. Right, so you can buy housing pieces here. You know, to build yourself a little home if you want on your plot. Or you could build a factory around it, you know, if that's what you want to do. All right, but this is the place we're going to be buying a lot of stuff. So I'm actually going to take the money and I'm going to drop it in there for now. Uh, where is this? Put this down. Give me this. All right, and we're going to put this in here. Okay, so here's the thing. I would like it if I could get this powered. This is a ram drill, right? What this is going to do is it's going to go down and get chunks of um, dirt. And that's going to be the early basis of automation. From this point on, I'm going to be grabbing a lot of different pipes. So um, because there's certain things that you need to do with the pipes. See, the thing is, the water will damage the pipes over time, certain sections of it. So you need to do some things. And remember the pipes we had, the 10? Remember the little drip that was coming out of it? We also need something to increase the pressure too. Uh, but then again, we also need things like uh, the elbows and the T's and stuff like that. So I'm going to be grabbing a lot of pipes. You don't have to see that. And we're back. All right, so I did a lot of purchasing over here. Um, I bought some elbows over here. I actually had a lot of uh, straight pipes. You'll see them over there. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, where are they? Oh, I got a couple of T's here. Don't know if I'm using them now, but I will be using them later. All right, so I have a gauge. I have some, what are they called? Pressure tanks. I have four of them. I have these guys here, which are water pipe filters. And I have a valve. The valve is actually going on right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's see. Boom. There we go. And as you can see, it's turned off. Okay, so the idea here is this guy here takes water. So what I would like to do would be to get him giving us clogs of soil. That will be my victory for today. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, like I said, I already have this. Now, I have the intake here, but I had to do a couple of elbows here because otherwise it would clip through the, uh, the ground and it wouldn't work. 
So basically it comes up to this level and I think I have like 14 of these, 13 or 14, something like that. Okay, so the idea is we already saw that if you do this, it's dripping out, right? So the water pressure isn't too terrific because every one of these pipes basically reduces the water pressure. But here's the thing. The water is damaging and it will damage your equipment. So what we need are filters. So what we're going to do is we'll pick up a filter and it says conveys and filters water uh, by 20%, decreasing water pressure by 2%, takes damage. So there is a repair kit and you're going to have to do repairs, especially on these guys. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this, okay, where is it here? Right there. Actually, we're going to put four of them in because we want the water to be as clean as possible here. Hold on a minute. There we go. And we're gonna pick that up there and then we're gonna put, okay, hello, there we go. And then we're gonna put this in here. Oh, and any moment now it'll work, there we go. All right. So here, that this is gonna be reducing the water pressure but it's gonna be cleaning up the water. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need these. Pressure tank. Place a shard inside to increase output water pressure by 25%. Now, I'm guessing it depends on the power of what you put into it. You put a shard in, you'll get whatever amount of increase there is. But you can actually take the shards and melt them into a big ingot and put that in there. And I'm guessing the water pressure would be great. All right, so let's just put these guys in here because once again, we have four of these because we want to maximize water pressure all right so let's do this of course that is why i brought the shards all right so i'm gonna do this oh, oh where are we gonna hit right there all right and let me think the last thing we may need an extra pipe here just saying uh by the way this is kind of temporary we'll talk about that in a moment but uh, i like i said i want my little victory all right let's see can we attach that in there please there we go Okay, so I'm guessing that 12 o'clock is nothing because at the moment we have nothing coming through. As a matter of fact, if I was to do this, you'll see that it's between 9 and 10 o'clock at the moment. So I don't know if it went counterclockwise or clockwise. I don't really know the situation with that, but we do have water coming in. All right, so why don't we just turn that off? Now, can I hook it? I think I should probably do another pipe because this is, I think, the drillable area. All right, so let's just grab another pipe. Um, dun, dun, dun. Come on, right here. There we go, right there. All right, so like I said, water goes in here. So let's pick this up and let's see. Is that plugged in? Yes, it is. All right, so I'm going to turn the water on. Yes, I know we haven't put any power shards on. It's context. All right, and once again, we're between uh, 9 and 10 there, right? All right, so if I turn this on, it spit out dirt. You'll notice, however, it's not doing it very often, is it? Wait for it. Yeah, there you go. And it's basically building a big chunk of dirt right there. All right. What's gonna happen eventually is this will go into the harvester. The harvester will take it and then it'll basically take the, uh, the ingots and the shards and the gems um, and the cloudium and it'll take it all out of that. Uh, but that's what we got for today. You'll notice it wasn't working very hard though. That's gonna change. So what we're gonna do, I turned it all off, right? Um, I don't think so. Hold on a minute. It didn't change. I'm wondering about that. All right. Well, here's the thing. This is why the shards are here. Boom. All right. Let's grab a shard. And let's see if we can drop it in there. Okay. There we go. Close the door. All right. And let's see if we can get another one. There's one. And let's see if we can get that in there. There we go. And close the door. Is this increasing? It isn't. It's probably got the last pressure that it experienced. 
All right, let's see. And then we're going to drop that, and then we're going to close the door. And then finally, is it my imagination, or is that a big one? I have no idea. Okay, it's going to hit the thing there, and then we're going to close the door. Okay, so they are now powered. So let's turn this on. I believe I'm turning it on now. Let's see what this says. Okay, this is saying 3 o'clock. Does that mean it went around counterclockwise? It might. But I'm guessing that there is a significant increase in water pressure going to this. Let's find out. That does seem to be working faster now, doesn't it? And that is my small victory. So we're going to... No, oh, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to hammer that into place, ain't I? All right, hold it a minute. There we go. And turn that off. And turn this off because, like I said, it will do damage. All right, so this thing here, the purpose of this is to hammer something into place so you won't make a mistake like that. So if I go like that, I think that's the way that works. Hold it a minute. Okay, drop that. Right, I can't eat that anymore. Right, so that's the thing. That means it's locked into place, but I think you can just kind of unlock it the same way. Obviously, it's not going to be there permanently, right? Anyway, I think that's going to be it. I got my little victory, and here it is right here. So, like I said, this would go into the harvester. Here's the thing. It's coming out here. The harvester is about the same size, only the soil goes in through the top. So the thing is that... This is going to have to be higher than the harvester in order for it to properly feed or maybe even do a conveyor thing in there. But I mean, I think generally speaking, this thing is supposed to be higher. Is it going to make sense? Probably not because it's supposed to be drilling in the ground, you know. But I mean, that's kind of what happens with this. Another thing about it is that I'm going to have to put T's in here and more elbows and straights because the thing is, this is one line of water coming in. This is going to have to feed a lot of things. And you'll notice water goes into this and there's no way out. So the thing is, this can't be like the last stop for the water. The water is going to have to branch off maybe twice before that. So the thing is that obviously this is an interesting test but it is not a final solution in, by any means of the imagination. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So that's basically what I've got going for today. We got the water coming out and we have shown that water does power and it does make a difference if you have those power shards in there. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So if you want to see more of this, of course, give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way of showing your support. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!